friends, I'm Evelyn. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Are you? I really hope that you are. Are you? Oh, that's good. That sounds good. Yeah, I'm happy that you're having a good day. Anyway, let's talk a little bit about today's sponsor, Lovelink. You can download Lovelink by clicking on the link at the top of the description box. However, I highly recommend that you stick around and listen for a little bit because I might also be giving away two packs for The Sims 4. So if you want to learn how you can join this little giveaway, just, you know, stick around and listen for a little bit. So Lovelink is an interactive virtual dating app in which you can control your own romance story. Which means that you can swipe left and right to all these different characters that all have their own unique story. Okay, so let's see who we can swipe left and right to. We got... Ju I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your first name, but also you're a Cancer and my brother is a Cancer, so I'm sorry, you gotta go, bye. Ooh, we got a Scorpio, Kane Angelus, he looks really dangerous. Lovelink won't admit to it, but this emoji is based on my image. <laughs> I'm kind of intrigued here, I'm not gonna lie, so let's see. Oh, it's not a match. Oh my god, Robert, what are you doing? I'm sorry, no. Ooh, Ryan Byrne. Wait, are you Ginger? I'm sorry, that's a yes. Ooh, and it's a match. So what are we gonna say? Hi or a cool pickup line goes here. <laughs> Let's try out the cool pickup line goes here. Well, I have one. You're stuck on a deserted island and you can bring one person with you. Who do you bring? Let me think. My BFF or you? Should we take a risk? I'm gonna say you. Is that a little bit too straightforward? Really taking chances with a stranger? I like to live on the edge. Also, the stranger happens to be really hot. Well, I mean, that's fair. The stranger would accept your invitation. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a party on this island. <laughs> so I also have a couple of other matches that I've kind of been chatting with a little bit so let's go say hi to let's say hi to Liam. Liam is a main vocalist in a famous band. I had no idea so we've been chatting a little bit back and forth. Apparently he has issues with fans on this app but I don't know him. <laughs> Wait, hold on. So Liam just sent a picture. We can tab to unblur. Hold on, he's he's stage ready? Let's see what this picture shows. Wait, are you sending- Dude, where's your shirt? Nice hair color. Is Liam sending us spicy pictures? Liam. So as you progress with the different characters, you can also go on dates with them virtually, where you can experience different things and go on fun adventures with your favorite matches. There's over 85 characters in Lovelink, all with different personalities and also different stories, so there's lots of fun to be had. And as for the giveaway, I'm giving away two packs to two people, so one pack each. And all you have to do to join the giveaway is unlock three interest boxes on any character in the game. Just one character. You unlock more and more interest boxes the more you play and chat with a character. So essentially, to join the giveaway, you just have to play the game. When you've unlocked three interest boxes, take a screenshot and then send it to me in a DM on either Twitter or Instagram. And if you don't already follow me on my socials, they're always linked under the link tree which you can find in the description box. So that is all. Super easy. The giveaway is worldwide. It's also open to console players, so literally all of you can join. And as a disclaimer, the link also works as a creative code, so all money that you spend in game actually helps support me and the channel as well. And that is it. So thank you again so much to Lovelink for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get started with this journalist tiny house that we're doing today. I hope you guys will like it. So let's get started. So today we are building a tiny house that is for a journalist. I asked you which careers you wanted me to do tiny houses for because I used to do a lot of these and then I just kind of took a break from them, I suppose, or something. I don't really know what happened. But a couple of days ago on, what was it? Oh gosh, I already forgot who the tiny house was for. But I asked you which careers you wanted to see tiny houses for and someone said journalist. I've already done a journalist one, but I figured that I would kind of do another one while trying to do brainstorming for some of the other ones that you suggested because you suggested quite a lot and some of them, a lot of them, <laughs> correction, were careers that are not actually in The Sims, which is super exciting. Would love to decorate for them, would love to build for them. I just need to like think it through a little bit. I need to fully figure out what I want these houses to look like. So in the meantime, you are getting one that I feel is quite fitting for a journalist. I would, journalists can be a lot of things. They don't necessarily only write like newspaper articles and stuff. You can have journalists that work for nature magazines. Yeah, stuff like that. I, for example, we have two journalists. My, I'm not gonna tell you exactly what they do because that would be breaching their privacy. <laughs> but uh, my sister and also her husband are actually both journalists, but they don't write for newspapers or 
you know, anything like that. So I'm not going to say specifically what they do because again, privacy, but they are still journalists. So I feel like the person living in this house probably writes for something like a nature magazine and that's why they like to live in these surroundings. I know that a lot of journalists probably work in the cities, like even though they write for magazines that aren't, you know, fashion magazines or whatever, um, I think a lot of them still have their offices in the city. So this person might have to drive back and forth a little bit. I didn't give them a car, too bad. You're gonna have to figure that out yourself. But maybe they have like a, like a, what's it called, a colleague or something who lives down the road and they can drive to work together. I don't really know. I didn't think it that much through, but I definitely feel like they could easily work for something like a nature magazine or I don't know, some kind of magazine that works, that like writes articles about shoes that are good for hiking or something. I don't know. It doesn't have to be super specific, does it? <laughs> I just felt like it was good for, for a journalist. So I gave them a little work area in the house as well. They have a fair amount of books as well, because that is something I think journalists have, because they write. So of course they would read as well. That makes sense to me at least. And also they have a lot of papers on their desk too. Not necessarily stuff that they've written. I think they have a lot of like uh, research papers and... They also have a notebook, maybe while they go out hiking, they take notes or something. I don't really know. These days, wouldn't you mainly use your phone instead of a notebook? I don't know. I actually personally like to write down notes by hand much better than I like writing them down on my phone. So I would probably still bring a notebook, I'm not gonna lie. I am totally old fashioned like that, yeah, but I'm proud of it okay i just i don't know i feel like i remember things better if i've written it down by hand instead of with my fingers to stop like okay you still hold pens with your fingers but you know what i mean right instead of just with my thumbs on the phone if i write down the letters shape them with my hand i just remember them better i letters i don't write letters i meant all oh, right letters they're called the same oh gosh anyway i just had a revelation <laughs> Anyway, you get what I mean. So I just remember whatever I write down a little bit better if I shape the letters with my hand instead of just typing on buttons with my fingers. Yeah, so I kind of feel like maybe they're just like me. I gave them a notebook at least. It's on their desk, so I'm sure they've taken some kind of work notes. And also the landscaping. I was just in a mood to use the terrain tools again. I had kind of been taking a break and then I did the hill slope family house that I did earlier this week. Was that, was that released yesterday? No, wait, what day is it? I, last week. <laughs> I'm so confused for a second. I was like, what day is it today? I don't know. You know what? This just kind of blend together. It's, it's fine. I've, I'm, I've lost it. It's, it's okay. Anyway, we're dealing with it here. Okay. Everything's fine. <laughs> but last week I released a house. I published um, a house that I called Hill Slope Family House. That was sort of built on a hill, I know. Surprised, it's not like it was in the name or anything. Um, so I felt like for this one, I wanted to do something with the landscaping as well. So I built it in Windenburg again. I'm sorry, but terrain tools were kind of made for Windenburg. I stand by that statement because there's just a lot, like there's a lot of hills in Windenburg both in this foresty area that I'm building in today, but also in the, the the island area that I built on last week when I did that house. It's just a perfect area to use terrain tools in, along with uh, the the rich area in uh, in Get Famous. That's not what the world is called. I forgot what it's, Del Sol Valley, there we go. That's also a good area to use terrain tools in, but I feel like this area specifically and also the island here in Windenburg are better still. So whenever I want to do something fancy or something fun with terrain tools, I usually opt out for one of these. Like I usually go for, for one of these areas to build in because it just, it looks like it blends in and I like when my builds blend in with the area. Although style wise, this one probably doesn't. It's not a Tudor house in any way whatsoever. I don't really know what you would call the style other than possibly modern or contemporary i don't really know something like that let's just i don't i don't know okay i'm clueless it's fine we're we're used to it here on the channel but i thought that at least with the train tools it would look good so i also like the contrast i've said this before but i like the contrast between 
a sort of sleek, newer looking house in this foresty area. It kind of almost makes the house look a little eco in some way. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but that's what I see. So it just, in that way, I feel like it fits up here too. Of course, cottages as well. This is just a very good area to building building just in general. I just, yeah, I like it. We're also building on a 40 by 30 today. I'm pretty sure it's a 40 by 30. Otherwise it's 20, it's a 30 by 20, but I think it's a 40 by 30. I feel like the lot is quite big. So correct me if I'm wrong though, or I'll correct myself because it'll be written in the description box. <laughs> also for the color scheme, we're making it very like calm and casual and a little bit i want to say mature in a way we're not using a lot of colors not saying you can't have a mature interior with a lot of color but i don't know how else to des describe <laughs> the color scheme in this house we're just going for a lot of i want to say black white gray and then beige so it's very minimalistic almost and because of that i feel like it definitely looks a little bit mature but also very calm at the same time and i think maybe that is something that the journalist is really appreciative of, of appreciative of yeah there we go because <laughs> i don't know when you work from home you kind of want like for me i have my office that i'm sure if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen it by now because I keep posting pictures of it, but that's just because I love this space so much. It's motivating to me. It's just, it makes me happy to be in this space and that's so important. I've talked about this before here on the channel as well, but if you work from home on a on a set basis, so it's not just like you've, you've been sent home for a month, in that way, it's still kind of important that you have your own little setup still, but when you do it every day, all the time, um, it's very important to have a space that is perfect for, like, perfect conditions for work for you. It, di it differs from person to person. For me, it's this very inspiring with a lot of bookcases and it's cozy in here. I have my fairy lights, I have a lot of books surrounding me, I have candles and stuff and my plants, of course. But for this journalist, I feel like they would like the more calmer setting, so with these, like, calmer colors that maybe help them focus a little bit better and then also they have a really nice view from the window in front of their desk setup which i'm sure they appreciate as well so like when they're sitting down thinking about what to write they can look out the window and like daydream a little bit <laughs> you know that sort of situation so or vibe or whatever however we want to put it so um yeah it's just important to have your own little setup that fits you so yeah. I'm gonna do a few more career tiny houses over this month, I think, and I'm gonna refer back to the other video that I did where I asked. So that was the career house that I did last week, but I don't remember what career it was for. I literally, t I don't remember at all, <laughs> but I'm gonna refer back to that comment section. However, if there's anything specific you'd like to see and you didn't watch that video, definitely let me know in the comments though, because I can always check comment sections on several videos and maybe I can make a little list of the ones that I like and the ones that I can kind of get an idea for and stuff. So I saw someone suggested nurse, which I don't think it can be in The Sims either, but it sounds cute. So I might do one for a nurse. I don't know. What do you think? I thought it sounded cute. So yeah, but if again, if, it, if you hadn't watched the other one and you didn't get a chance to leave your suggestion just do it in the comments right here under this video i also want to tell you guys that i'm more or less set on starting streaming next month not here in december maybe we'll do a test stream between christmas and new year's because i do have a little bit of time there but it's just it's a lot right now and i've said this in other videos as well there's a lot going on right now and i just don't really have the time to get started on a new project which streaming would be um, cause I have to set it up and stuff before I can stream. So like with scenes and it's behind the scenes stuff, it's fine. Um, so I'd probably do it from sometime at the start of January. So I think my Twitch is linked in the description box down below. If it isn't, I'll make sure it's linked under the link tree. So you can go follow me over there if you're interested in hanging out with me while I'm building my houses, because I think that's what we're mainly going to do, at least to start out with, just to get a feel of streaming and stuff. I haven't done a stream since 2019, I think, and that was mainly because I just moved back to Denmark, and I was living here alone. I hadn't lived alone 
ever actually <laughs> so I was just like I need to I need to just like hang out with people right now let's go stream let's do let's do that so yeah um it's it's gonna be fun I think we're also going more or less into another lockdown now I think at least a half one or something I'm not really sure but things are half closing down so you know it's always good to keep to keep I was kind of like, started saying one word and then I started saying another one as well. It's one of those situations, but it's kind of good to stay in contact with people at the same time. So we can hang out together, chill, build our houses and have fun with it like that. And I'm looking forward to it. So I will say for the rest of the video, I'm pretty much just doing landscaping. And normally I would talk over this, but it's a long, like it's a long bit of landscaping. And I know that um, normally actually as, as well, I would cut a lot of this out, but I also know that some of you appreciate the landscaping. You find it kind of relaxing and stuff. I've gotten comments about that before. So I decided to keep it in this video, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end the voice over here in just a second. And then I'm gonna put some music over it so you can just chill. To me placing down a lot of rocks and a lot of plants i also add a picnic table to the hill here on the right side of the house so i make a trail leading up to the picnic table but i actually decided while i was doing the landscaping that i was just gonna stop the voiceover so i'm gonna stop myself from continuing talking now and wrap up this voiceover so if you like this house you can download it off the gallery my id is evelyn yt and you can also find it under the hashtag evelyn or evelyn yt and as always the tray files can be found on my patreon which will be linked to in the description box down below if you like books check out my other channel which will be linked to in the description box you can find it under my link tree along with basically all my other channels and all my other socials so definitely check that out and yeah thank you again so much to lovelink for sponsoring today's video i appreciate it so so much definitely go check out the game by clicking on the link at the top of the description box or the one in the pinned comment and that is all i got for you today so i hope you all enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did and i will see you all in the next one bye bye
something meaningful Say something I don't know I wanna know you better The way that you talk to me The way that you make me feel I don't know if you're real I wanna put you in that spotlight Looking at you all night Put you in that spotlight you make me feel fine Wanna look at you all night Put you in that spot